Oh, we're live. We don't even have a countdown. Good morning. <laughs> I was about to ask, like, did you press the button? <laughs> I was waiting for it to go to three, two, one, and then you're yeah. live all of a sudden. Boom, you're live. Good it morning, just, everybody. Just, like, that first, it, it seemed to take forever. I don't know. Maybe it's because last week we didn't make it on. Uh, so all of a sudden it's like, come on, go live, go live. Anyways, good morning, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you're tuning in from. Uh, hopping on live here with us or watching the replay. Drop yep. in the comments where you're watching from because we love that. We love to give a shout out to you. <laughs> and uh yeah, it's nice to be back. Last week, uh, I did not have my beautiful co-host with me, and uh, I popped on and did a little go live just to say good morning that morning, but... Um, you did not want to see me last week. It wasn't Halloween, otherwise I would have popped on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. It's been a rough week, but yeah. finally on the mend, and I'm excited to be here. That's I can see. So I had a really bad eye infection last week. And then I took some eye drops and then my eye exploded quite, not literally, but it felt like it anyways. I couldn't see and it swelled shot and it just wasn't pretty. So it's taken a couple weeks almost to really like, but it's good now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's and okay. Sometimes, you know, sometimes life happens and uh, that's mm -hmm. nice that we can uh, just push that pause button, even though our, you know, everything is still running for us. We can still take that time to like heal and, and you know, be there and self care. And that's very important. Yeah. yeah. It's nice to have something where you can still put yourself as a priority. Right. Yeah. And I've learned the hard way many times that you need to put yourself first in order for the rest of everything to fall into place. So uh, it's really nice to have that flexibility. That's very true. It's very true. I completely agree. And Charlene's little ones are <laughs> chatting with her. <laughs> it's I'm okay. Like, <laughs> oh, I had, uh, well, I don't know. Uh, Charlene works, works uh, with one of the systems on the back end of our business. And uh, so she got to watch my replay of what I hosted last week of our weekly webinar. And I'm not sure if she caught my grandson running behind me but he come in to get get a toy in my office when i was actually live with uh over 400 people live in attendance <laughs> yeah i mean so it was so funny i didn't get to catch you live um and so i was like oh i'm gonna see it anyways so the next morning i went on and i was you know doing my thing and i was like i'm gonna watch the whole thing <laughs> did you watch the whole thing <laughs> i did i watched your parts um, and, uh, I totally, I totally saw it. I laughed. I had a chuckle because I love it. Right. It just yeah. makes it genuine. And, you know, yeah. he didn't do any harm to anything. And no. I he mean, it happens. Here. Yeah. It was during one of the present, like one of the presentations and he come in here and he's like, I just need my toy grandma. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, what do you do? Right. Yeah. So he come in and, <laughs> and then after when I was done, he's like, did everybody see me when I come in there? You're like, yep. There's probably, I didn't look. I should go back and look. They were probably laughing because so many of our business owners are moms and grandmas and aunts and, you know, uncles and whatever, dads. So everybody gets it, right? Like it's it's just a part of life. It's no different yeah. than, you know, I mean, when we did our series last year, I had a 16-year-old to just walk in with his shirt off. <laughs> Hello, I'm live. And he was like, oh. <laughs> but, you know, such is life. Fun. Such is life. That's the yeah. beauty of working from home and, and all that. Yeah. Right? All that fun stuff. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes you're like, oh, I just got to turn my cam camera off for a quick second. <laughs> right? I'm just going to mute while the toddler's throwing a tantrum in the background. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, my daughter actually, she had a couple appointments, one on Thursday and then one Friday morning. And she, so she's like, uh, can you watch Mason? Can you come chill at your house with you? And I'm like, okay, but I got to go live, you know, hosting the webinar. So then I asked Felix, I said, can you just hang out with Mason for a little bit? Can you watch a couple? Mm -hmm. He's right into Mountain Men. So I was like, watch two episodes of Mountain Men and yeah. it'll be done. <laughs> That's a good show. I like that one. Yeah. 
So then yeah. they watched. I could hear them giggling and playing in the in the other room, and I was over here in my office doing doing what I had to do. But it all worked out, and that's what I absolutely love about this business is the flexibility. And you know, I can still be here with my grandson and you know help my daughter out and that sort of thing, and but not have to like I didn't miss work, right? I didn't our, have to. Our business for comes. Time off. <laughs> yeah, and it comes with childcare options, right? I did the same thing. I was like, Colby, can you take the boys downstairs? <laughs> yeah. Childcare. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Free. <laughs> but, it, but at the same time, too, right? It's good for our kids to be able to experience yeah. that kind of stuff, right? Like spending time with one another and as homeschooling moms, too, like it just blends. <laughs> like the flow is, yeah, there's moments, it's chaos and it's, all of the things, right? But that's such as life, like. Yeah, I yeah. I really love that. Um, I've set that example for the kids that, mm -hmm. you know, you can find something that's flexible and that works with you. And um, they also highly, highly, highly respect this business. Yeah. And they're hugely supportive. Yeah. Um, and they, they have been from day one. And it just continues. As they get older, they see more aspects and more what more of what goes into it. And I've got a couple of kids that they're like, I can't wait to be 18. I'm going to be a business owner. And um, it's, it's really fun to watch because, like, you know, Felix, your son, uh, he has his little entrepreneurial spirit as well and has his own little business. And that all came about because of homeschooling and this and, you know, a combination of things. And yeah. my kids are, are trying to do some things. And um, I, I really like how it it has complemented our life in so many ways. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and what I enjoy about it, too, is, you know, <clears throat> Just because we're homeschooling doesn't mean that the kids aren't in sports. The kids are still in mm -hmm. sports. They're still in, in activities and all of these different things. And we can go during the day. We can go in the evening. We can go first thing mm -hmm. in the morning, right? We take yeah. we we can take that hour away from our business because when we pick right back up where we left off once the activity's done. So we're present for our kids during those times, right? And the not missing out that's huge um i mean with my daughter i missed out on so much but i also i was in a completely different place in my life and now i now i can be there for her and her kids as well as you know our son and stuff like that so it and just setting that example and leading by example and showing your kids that it's okay to follow you know the path that that's being laid out in front of you, you know, and, and one of your choosing, yeah. you don't have to make other people happy. Yeah. You need to make you happy. So, and nobody has to be supportive of that. Just 100%. To, right. I like one I mean, of the biggest things. Yeah. 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 Because I know when I started this, my family, I was working in insurance. And of course I have an aunt who worked in insurance for many, many years. And so she was so excited when I joined the insurance industry, I was doing really well at it. They wanted me to take courses and get licensed and do this and this and this. And then I joined an online business so that I wouldn't have to continue to do that. Yeah. And she was like, what did you just do? <laughs> you know, right. like, and a lot of the family felt the same. There was really only a couple of people that were full throttle with me right mm -hmm. from the get go. But um, yeah, I, but I didn't care because yeah. at the end of the day, it's like we say all the time, does my aunt pay my bills? No. Does she feed no. my kids? Does she homeschool my kids? Do those yeah. people that are unsupportive and criticizing yeah. your every move, yeah. what role do they play in your life? in your kids' lives, in your family's lives, right? So 100%. the most important thing, yeah, the most important thing to me was definitely, um, it was actually finding the courage to do it throughout all of that because <laughs> yeah. that wasn't easy. Yeah. But my kids were huge in every time I looked at them, I'm like, this is why. Yeah. And and the difference between, so this is something that I, it, it boggles my mind and um being in the other side, in the other space, the other mindset to being where I am now and that it took work to get to where I am now and have that shift, right? But we don't see people when they're going to look for a car 
or they're going to look for like a certain product. They're not sitting there. They're doing their due diligence. They're doing their homework. They're doing their research. And then they go purchase that for whatever. Yeah. But it's no different than anyone else. You're supporting someone. So sit, so rather than sitting there and bashing someone and nitpicking and being so negative and all of the, mm -hmm. you know, X, Y, and Z, just support the person, share yeah. their posts, engage on their posts. Even if it's not for you, you can tell somebody that might be like someone in your life that you might think that it's maybe for them. You know, maybe your friend or your, you know, whatever is sitting there and is like, I really like to work online. And it's not for you, but they're expressing and be like, oh, well, I follow this person or I know this girl or I know this guy. And just yeah. share it. Like, that's huge. Because when we have a good experience with something, we're happily um, to share that with somebody else. When, when you know, we go to a business or we go to a restaurant or we go to like whatever and we have that connection and we enjoy that experience we're happy to share it with other people so other people can go and experience that as well, right? So it's no different for us, you know, and there's so many people that work from home, you know. Well, it was the same thing with homeschooling. We didn't just walk into it, no. you know, like. No, not at all. <laughs> right? Like, and now I mean, years you know, later, I'm still treading. I'm like, am I doing this right? Like, is my kid okay? I know. <laughs> But like, you know, COVID kind of forced our hand. Well, yeah. it was it didn't even force our hand. COVID was really just for me, it was just like a sign that, okay, here's your chance. Mm -hmm. You've wanted to do this, you've wanted to to earn online, you've wanted to homeschool your kids and keep them home and adventure and live life and do all the things. Here's your chance. Yeah. You know, and it's crazy that, you know, I've been in this. So I've been in this business for four and a half years now, Jennifer, even longer. <laughs> I've been here for four and a half years. I've been homeschooling almost as long because mm -hmm. thank you to this business. I had the, the courage and the resources, the tools to pull my kids and stay home and homeschool yeah. them. But it took until last December for certain family members to say, gosh, like, you're doing incredible. Yeah. I've been here for four and a half years and only one year ago did I actually get support from a lot of the naysayers in my life. Yeah. So like even when you jump out of your box and you go into something that's new and scary for you that nobody supports, it doesn't mean they're not going to support you later when you prove them wrong and you kick yeah. butt. And that's something I think that, you know, to be transparent, it held me back for really mm -hmm. my authentic self um for a long time was the people that were around me and the you know the fear of the judgment of what they were going to say yeah. or the people like, people in my life that were actually saying things and yeah. that was a trigger for me because of previous things in my life that I had to work on because it was like I've done years and years of work and that one person said that one comment or said that one thing and it set me back so I've now been able to like really work and push through and work on that healing. It's an everyday thing, of course, yeah. but I've learned that at the end of the day, I am here for myself and my family. I'm not here for anyone else. And it doesn't matter what other people say. Yeah. And I always used to jealousy will rear its ugly head in ways that we don't, un don't expect. And it's important to know that where you are in your mission on in life is important because what you have to say, someone will hear it and someone will resonate and someone will appreciate it. I always used to be the one, <clears throat> excuse me, I used to be the one that would play it safe because I was mm -hmm. absolutely terrified of disappointing my my yeah. family. There's a couple members for sure that um, that come to mind and I, I wouldn't do something like this. Yep. I wouldn't homeschool my kids. I sacrificed yeah. my happiness and I sacrificed theirs yeah. because I was too scared yeah. to step into my own. Yeah. And I think that's my biggest regret in life. And my biggest regret because I waited so long to do it. My yeah. older kids were older, right? Yeah. So they saw me as this 
I'm not going to say coward, but they saw me as this person who was scared to live life and scared to push for what we want and what we deserve. Yeah. Whereas my younger kids, the younger four are all like, let's do it and we can do it. And it doesn't matter what people say. And I'm like, that's the attitude my I want my all of my kids to have going into life, right? Yeah. So yeah, I used to play it safe, but I really don't anymore. And this business opportunity was step one. And then home yeah. learning was step two. Uh, and since then, it's just been, I don't care. I'm going to do it. And you know what? Yeah. Nine times out of 10, it works. And if it doesn't work, we just try something different. Well, that, and that's it's just okay. it, right? And I, it goes back to like, um, I really learned my own self-worth. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, when you discover your own self-worth, the, the, whole, the whole picture changes. There's a huge shift. And... Yeah. When you surround yourself with people that are positive and like-minded and are driven and have these bigger goals and these, you know, whatever, because we're all different. We all have different things mm -hmm. going on. We all have different goals. Yep. But when you surround yourself with people that are lifting you up rather than tearing you down, that is huge. And it just fuels your fire for more positivity, more growth, more self-reflection, and you really discover the power within and then you can share that with other people and the ripple effect from that is just it's amazing it's really amazing yeah, yeah. it's a really beautiful feeling to um look back and just see how i've evolved as a person yeah. um as a mom as a business owner as a volunteer as a you know whatever i look back at who i was and i almost don't recognize myself because that's yeah. never who I wanted to be yeah. you know really not that I regret to. that I yeah. learned a lot as that person I went through a lot that person is what gives me strength yeah. to be here today yeah but I just don't recognize them because it's not who I wanted to be it wasn't my true self yeah I've even had people come to me and say how are you so happy all the time you know you've went through this and you've experienced that and X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. But huh. it, it's because I choose to be happy every single day, even when it's not a glorious, you know, sunshine mm -hmm. kind of day. It's my choice if I get to be happy or not. And when I am surrounding myself with people that lift me up, I want to be able to lift someone else up too, because I know the feeling of what someone has done for me and not that I want to be there to be that person for someone else but when I'm just being myself and sharing from my heart I know that what I'm giving out will lift someone up you know what I mean and I think that that's a that's a it's something that holds a lot of people back is the fear of what other people are going to think or what they're going to feel and but there's always somebody that needs to hear your message yeah. And you know what? So I was an event planner and I've worked in retail and I've worked in all these positions where the one lesson I probably take away from every single one is you're not going to appease everyone. 100%. Not everyone's going to be happy with your decision. I mean, yeah. you go to the store, they change the label on a product, somebody's mad. They... <laughs> lower the prices somebody's mad they up the prices somebody like you know yeah. they change any like whatever the issue is there's always going to be somebody even if it's something that benefits them that is angry because it's change well and there's also so many people that just float in that comfort zone because they're yeah. afraid right yeah. so they stay there and it's just stagnant it's the same thing over and over and over and over mm -hmm. even though they're not fully fulfilled on the inside it's but that's what they yes. That's easy. Yes, one hundred percent. And I don't know when when you push past that comfort zone. I mean, I've hosted the webinar now three or four times. I've been on the panel a few times, a handful of times. Every single time, I have those nerves. You know what I mean? I have that pit in my stomach where I'm like, "Ooh!" But each time I do it, it's a little bit less and less. You know what I mean? Yeah. So. 
the more it becomes a habit and a routine, it just, it just becomes easier and it just becomes natural and you just do it with ease. But those first, first few steps, I mean, they, it's like you're wearing cement shoes. (laughs) There's some, those, you know what though, those steps, I feel like those steps are supposed to be hard. Yes. Because how can you grow when everything comes easy? Yep. Like, you know, when everything's handed to you all your entire life, you're never going to do anything. Yeah. Right. I don't know. I, we have never had it easy. And, you know, (laughs) so our mentors and coaches, I always say to them, oh, like this went wrong and that went wrong, but it's par for the course. And they're always telling me like, well, if that's how you think, then that's how it's always going to be. But it is just my life. I could think everything's going to flow and everything's going to just fall into place yeah. and then boom, right? Something happens. But then when I look back, once we've gotten through all of this, I look yeah. back and everything had a purpose. Yeah. Yeah. And that purpose was to help us grow, whether it was financially, whether it was spiritually, emotionally, yeah. every single thing had a purpose yeah. and was put in our path for a reason. Yeah. And, uh, I wouldn't take those challenges back ever. I will never regret those challenges. I would regret absolutely if everything came easy because that moment that something went terribly wrong, I would yeah. not be prepared. No, exactly. <laughs> you know, and I think that that's what's also pushed me to be where I am today. Same yeah. with you, Charlene, is because we haven't had it easy. We haven't had everything handed to us. We had to work dang hard. Yeah. You know, to be where we are right now and it's we're not just floating by we are like we have that shovel in our hand and we're digging trenches every single day but we're also paving a way and we're raising amazing human beings and we're teaching them to value themselves and see their self-worth and i i just think it's incredible i think it's beautiful and i am grateful every single day for my community of people, my friends that I've made over the years. And I'm so excited to see where it's going to go and all the new friendships that are going to come in the years to come Mm -hmm. through this transformation that I've had in my life. And this business plays a huge part in that because I can pretty much say that if I did not come across this business, I'd be stagnant and probably in the same place I was. I did not have this business has also been a tool for growth. Mm-hmm. I 110% agree. Yeah. I I probably wouldn't have um quit my job. Yeah. I wouldn't have homeschooled my kids mm-hmm. because I wouldn't have been able to. Yeah. I wouldn't have had the courage to stand up to the people who continued to push us down. Uh, over and over again, I would like, there's so many things that I probably would never have done. And Mm -hmm. I would still four and a half years later be pushing the papers and sitting at the computer 14 hours a day and missing out on kids activities and just focusing on getting through the day. Yeah. Yeah. And nowadays with the the rising costs of everything to go and put your child into childcare is like crazy. Gas prices is crazy. I just did an event over the weekend and I drove to town three days in a row and I burned half a tank of gas. I come home last night and I said to my husband, I'm like, yeah, this is why I love doing what I do at home. I can pick and choose when I want to go to town. I can create and go to town like one day a week and plan all my stuff in one day because I'm not spending that extra money on the commute or the time that it takes for that commute, because it's an hour each way. That's two hours of my day, a good hour and a yeah. half or to two hours, you know? So it's- Oh, even, and you're, you're out of town. I'm in town and still like, I mean, we cart kids everywhere, right? I wouldn't be able to put my kids, yeah. I've got one in piano, I've got one in scouts, I got one in cadets, I got one in horse riding lessons. We got, I mean, yeah that's the bare minimum of what we do. And to, I mean, just to leave the house to go to one and then go to the other just for drop-offs is like a half an hour each time. And then you come home and then you got to go out and do it again. And that's another half hour. So I totally get that. And then there's not including the activities that you go to and you stay. But luckily 
when I go to those activities like lifeguarding, I've posted on my page a few times, I sit and I work on my computer or I work on my phone and I watch my kids while they're in their activities and I support them 110% and I do my business when I can. Yeah, exactly. If I choose not to, I choose not to. Today, we're going to, we've got piano lessons today. We've got this. We're going out tonight to the park with flashlights and glow sticks and all the fun. So this morning I worked on my business, then I showered. Now I'm here. And after this, I'm done for the day. Yeah. You yeah. know, like and I get to pick and choose. Yeah. yeah. I get to pick and choose what I need to do. I get to prioritize what needs to get done. I get to do it. I get to finish it. And then the rest of the day is for my kids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I completely agree. Um, and as Felix gets a little bit older and, and he's in different things and mm-hmm. he's just really like, I don't know. He, <laughs> it's interesting to see where his mind is taking him. And oh my goodness, him and I have some deep conversations. Like I was sharing yesterday with a friend a conversation that I had had with him. He asked me the other day, if you had to lose one of your five senses, what's what would it be if you got to choose? I'm like, my friend's like, that is a really deep question. And this is where his mind goes because his mind is not stuck in, yeah. you know, this little thing. He has like this huge mind and he has these huge thoughts and we go into very deep conversations and have like, I mean, he's 12, but I can have a conversation with him that's more intelligent and meaningful than I can with some adults. But it's because he's been given this gift and this time to like really just find out who he is at such a young age. Yeah. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to answer Felix's question after this last week, it would not be my sight. (laughs) I quite enjoy seeing things. Yep. <laughs> um, yeah. But I totally, I totally agree. I, you know, I see a difference in my older two. And I mean, one has his life laid out for him. Yeah. And he had kind of a mixture of, I mean, not necessarily the home learning aspect, but um, I was away I worked quite a bit and da 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 but I still Mm. tried to give him opportunities to figure out what he was interested in so he had dabbled in a few things um our oldest oldest um you know she didn't really have those opportunities and I see a difference um and then in the four youngest they've been homeschooled two of them primarily homeschooled for the most part um, and then, you know, the toddler's three, so he doesn't really count. But even then, he he's done some things that are completely crazy and yeah. uh, says things that I'm like, where did you come up with that? Right. And it really isn't a test to not being stuck in four yeah. walls yeah. and not being not living the life that's been set out for you, not being not doing what you were told to do, but stepping out of that and yeah. doing Oh, I mean, I just, I can't say yeah. enough. I see so much in my kids that I did not see when I was working yeah. and when we had chaotic mornings and we had chaotic evenings cause I had to go to work or I had work to do and they had to get ready for bed and they had homework. There was no time to actually no. get to know my children, yeah. to get to know their interests, to get to know their personalities there was not enough time to yeah. really get down to the nitty gritty of my kids. Yeah. I I feel that deep to the core. And I see that with uh, my daughter and my grandson and how he is just like, he's four years old and he's just this brilliant little being mm-hmm. of like, sometimes it blows my mind of the things that he's yeah. saying and the communication, like he speaks like he's like, I don't even know how old he, he does not I know. a four year old. And it just attests to the time that my daughter has spent with him and the hands yeah. on and sitting, you know, whether it's like out doing different things or sitting at the table and having that, you know, focus and the teaching and the learning and stuff like that. And, and not just having it where it's like other people are teaching your children all these things right? It's, it's, you're coming from yourself, 
and your values and your roots and all of that, right? And with, I don't know, I think it's really cool of uh, just, I like to sit back and I kind of like to watch and observe because for me that all, I also learn so much from my children. It's not just me teaching them, but they're teaching no. me all the time. Yeah. I always say that too. I learn a lot for my children from my children than I could ever give them. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing. And I, I remember the day, like it was yesterday when I went to parent teacher interviews for Felix and the teacher was explaining some things to me of like his learning style and how he was so different than the other kids in class. And to me, I did not see that this was, pre-pandemic when he was mm -hmm. in school. I did not see that side of him at home because I had a different relationship with him, you know, but then when everybody was, you know, the world shut down and everything and, and we, he was home and I was teaching him. I then was, I had that realization of, okay, that it was an aha moment of, I, I can see exactly what she's explaining to me. And it, it brought I mean, there was a lot of tears <laughs> from me. There was a lot of tears from him, but I really got to learn who he was rather than just having that window of time on the weekends or a few minutes in the morning, a little bit of time in the evening. And you miss out on so much time because they're sitting in a classroom for eight hours. And I don't know, it's, to be able to see that side of him, it makes me super emotional because I feel like I missed out with my daughter, you know, on so much of that, but I am incredibly grateful for the relationship that I have with her now as an adult and watching her be a mom. And it's just, it's, I don't know, life throws us some really interesting things to touch on yeah. our lives for sure. I know, right? <laughs> Gosh, it's like, it's okay, here, I'm gonna get a little tug this way, I'm gonna get a little tug that way. And yeah, I don't know, our children, our children are a blessing, our grandchildren are an incredible blessing. And to be able to like curate your day around spending time with them, but still contributing to your home financially mm -hmm. and other people investing in your your time in other people to then see them blossom and grow and have that shift and stuff like that. It is so beautiful. Yeah. My, um, when I first looked into earning online, it was because we wanted more money so we could be home. Mm -hmm. Um, and I missed my kids, but I didn't realize how deep that actually went. And, and not even when we first, when we bought in, when we became, yeah. you know, a business owner, it wasn't even then. Yeah. It's just, over the last four and a half years, life has evolved. Time yeah. has evolved. My why has evolved to this. I mean, it just gets stronger and stronger and deeper and deeper. And I'm so unbelievably passionate that I, uh, I always said, I will never go back. I yeah. will never go back to the days when I couldn't feed my kids. I will never go back to the days when they couldn't go to the birthday parties because we didn't have time or money or um, I couldn't make the soccer game or the baseball game because, you know, I didn't have time or I had to work. I will never go back there. No. And the further I get in this business, the easier it gets to see I'm never going back there. Yeah. 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 You know, and it I just that passion is just like it gets deeper and deeper and stronger and stronger. And I just... I mean, we say it all the time. You just want to shout it from the rooftops, right? But it's something that you you don't know. And we cannot, ex I can't explain to you in words how it feels mm -hmm. to know that there's food in the fridge now yep. from somebody who's had none. To yep. know that, you know, we have the piano lessons and the horse riding and my kids are living their passions every freaking yeah. day because yep. I finally stepped up. Yep. 100%. I know it's just amazing. And if if anyone that's watching has even just been a little bit curious of, mm -hmm. you know, what it's like to work online or what we do, you know, feel free to reach out to us. Um and take the time. Like I really, really encourage to take the time to watch the the webinar 
whether it's live on the Monday and Tuesday, Monday, oh my gosh. Our <laughs> Tuesday, Thursday. <laughs> yeah. You can, you know, definitely watch us Monday mornings because we're, we're always a delight, but <laughs> watch the uh, webinars on Tuesdays and Thursdays um, live and the replays are always available. So we're always willing to, um, you know, send you the link for that. We personally will send you a link, just reach out to us. But to sit there and listen to the testimonies of other business owners, not just ourselves, is so heartwarming. And every single time there's a different testimony. So every Tuesday, every Thursday, there's different people on sharing. And it is so important. Watch two or three or four or watch 10 of them. Watch them every single time. You know, I just encourage that because they are sharing their journey from where they started to where they are now and what they look for and it might just resonate with you like I don't know I, I get goosebumps from it and it makes me emotional because where I was almost how many seven years 2018 whatever how many ever years it's been a really long time <laughs> but in 2018 when I decided that I was going to I was a traveling sales rep. I was away from the home all the time. And when my life turned around and I had to be home and present for my family, I needed to find a way to still earn from home. And then when I come across this business, yeah, I was a bit skeptical. I wasn't too sure. I was a little like, you know, is this for me? Can I do this? I mean, I don't really know what it's all about, but I took the time to learn. And the growth has been phenomenal. So I really encourage watching the webinar. And we can we can add you to a group, uh, you know, our little our little Facebook groups, and you get to learn a whole lot more. Like it's it's just amazing. It really is. But we cannot do the work for you. You have to do the work for yourself, and at the same time, you have to want it. Yeah. That desire for change has to be there to fuel you to push yourself to do what's to do what nobody likes to be that hamster running on the wheel and never getting anywhere. Yep. Right. But we're there by your side every step. Yeah. Never but not even just us. There's so many people. When I started in 2018, there was 3,000 people in that Facebook group. Yeah, and there wasn't the more than like even... 200,000 now. Yeah, I don't think there was, there was maybe 10,000 when I joined the community. Uh, it was around 10,000, I think, yeah. <laughs> if that. And um, yeah, we are, woo. <laughs> and it's in a global loading. business. Ex exactly. And in a global, global business with mm -hmm. how many billions of people in the world, yeah. we're, still, we're still scratching the surface. Yeah. And, you know, to be still around, our business community is seven years old. Our system is seven years old. And to still be growing at the rate that it's growing is an incredible testament to the system, the community, the people, the founders, yes, everything that's involved. So well, to be a part of the number one online community of gro that's growing by the day is yeah. pretty incredible. And when you have the, <laughs> the founder fly in from Japan to come meet you personally, like that speaks volumes. It speaks volumes. Oh, so I'm so grateful for you, Jen, and for our Mondays. And I'm, I'm glad I'm back. I'm glad we're back. <laughs> well, I'm glad you're back too. I miss your beautiful face. <laughs> oh, likewise, my friend. Yeah. Well, if you guys have any comments, questions, topics, anything you want to know about yeah. our lives, our business, toss it in the chat. Let us know where you're watching from again. And uh, until next week, I guess we bid you all adieu. <laughs> <laughs> and have a fabulous week ahead. We will see you yes. again next Monday, same time, same place. And Maybe we still won't have snow. It's December next Monday already and we still have no snow i can't even it's just not yeah. even <laughs> have a good week you guys it is a, it, i don't know i know it doesn't feel the same <laughs> <laughs>
Okay, bye for now.